The plot is an absolute tip at the moment. I'm really embarrassed that I've let it get so overgrown. I'll uh, do a very quick plot tour because I don't want to be showing you the state of affairs too much because like I said I'm just embarrassed that I just haven't been up here for about two weeks and I haven't kept on top of the weeds. Oh, anyhow, that's what I'm up here to do. Autumn is in full swing now. I just uh, did my walk through the woods and there's a very damp smell. You can really smell the woods. And the trees are now shedding their leaves. And yes, like I said, winter won't be far away. But before I give you a quick plot tour, let me show you what I've uh, just found on my walk up here. Look at that. That's a big old puffball. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Like I said, the big old puffball. That's for scale. I'd say it's a good 10 inches that way. And maybe the same that way. You can eat these, although I'm not going to. Uh, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, the chef that we have on the TV over here in the UK, ate one of these once and described the smell and taste as of wet Labrador. So, doesn't seem very appealing to me, but you could eat that bad boy if you wanted to. And in relation to the plot, mine is just there. So, Technically, I guess it belongs to this plot, which is my neighbour's plot, actually, which is Jim, who, like I said, hasn't been around for a while, so, anyhow, there you go. Autumn's definitely on the way if the old fun guys are making an appearance. Apart from the weeds, nothing's really changed up here. I just haven't been inspired to get up here and do much, especially on grey, dull days like today. Uh, some more of those uh, ball courgettes that you guys told me about. I picked the three that you saw in the last video and these are the latest offerings in their place. Not that you'll be able to make them out that much because they are hidden amongst the weeds, but uh, these are the leeks, which I put in really late and I don't expect to get anything. Can't wait to tackle those. Those are the parsnips. Beetroot, still picking the occasional beetroots. They're going a bit woody, a bit big, but I'm keeping them in there because a lot mental and myself are going to try and do a bit of a beetroot, pick the biggest beetroot and, I don't know, maybe weigh it. But that will probably be nearer um, Halloween. We've decided to pick our big beetroots near Halloween-ish. Dwarf French beans. They're definitely in there. So, there you go. I'll be taking those for definite tonight. Ah, oh, my potato bed. Biggest disappointment on the allotment this year. As you can see, well, 
I'll do a reveal later on. I did one a couple of weeks back and they were terrible. King Edwards, I, I won't grow those again. Maybe it was just a bad batch, but they were fairly small potatoes. I think I'll stick with Sarpo Miras. My three butternut squash are still very small, uh, but I'll take what I can get. They are starting to ripen, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with them, even if they are fairly small. There's those two, and then that one there. As you can see, the dahlia is still going strong. All I need to do is deadhead some of the old flowers. Now that should carry on flowering for another couple of weeks. It's put on a great display this year. Really happy with the dahlia. These are my two courgette or zucchini plants, depending on where you come from in the world. I've grown these before. They just keep pumping out courgettes like nobody's business. Sometimes they are a bit of a pain because you just can't cut them quick enough but we've got a couple to go at at the moment there you go not a bad size if you leave them too long they grow into marrows I guess while I'm in the mood for cutting courgettes, I may as well take this one. Well, we're at the back end of September now. October is only maybe five days away. And the plot is still producing. Some decent small beetroot there. A couple of courgettes. A ball courgette. And the carrots. The carrots are doing really well this year. I think they are the sugar snacks variety that I keep mentioning almost on every video. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that little haul. I'm going to wrap this video up here, peeps. It's a blustery day out there. You're not going to be able to hear me over the wind. And rather than film myself weeding the plot, which is all I was going to do, I just figured, you know what, I'll uh, save that for another video. Um, the only other news that I have is that this allotment site has been um, granted or received a grant from the lottery fund for £8,800. And apparently we're going we're gonna to be building some communal toilets somewhere on this allotment site. So... Everybody that's using a bucket at the moment is going to have the joy of probably using a toilet if they want to. Although I doubt whether they're going to be able to connect to the main, so I'm figuring it's going to be one of those eco-friendly toilets where you have a handful of sawdust, maybe. I don't know. But I will chart its progress, no doubt, in upcoming videos if you're remotely interested in that anyhow thanks for joining me if you have and I'll see you on the next video bye for now